Number five, Martin Falls. This was the shortest waterfall for us to get to. We stayed in Whitefish, so it was about 39 minutes from there. Um, really cool waterfall. You just take Highway 93 up to Good Creek Road and follow that up, and it'll be off on your left side. I'll put all the directions for these places in the description below. Enjoy. So I've seen a couple waterfall. Whew, can't talk. I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple waterfalls. One in Costa Rica, one in the Bahamas, and then one in Hawaii. And this one tops them all. Let's get, just get stuck under a log. Yeah, this one tops them all. I'll put in the description below the video. The directions to get here if you guys ever come to Montana. I'll put the directions and stuff in the description below. But for now we're off to the next location, Sunday, which I don't know. Oh yeah, Sunday Falls. I think it's a it's another waterfall, so. Number four, Sunday Falls. So there's actually about three waterfalls that you get to see along this hike. We were told that there were supposed to be five, but there was only three in total. When you make it to this one, there's actually a little parking lot with bathrooms that you'll see. And the hike is only about, I'd say, 40, 50 yards. And then you'll see a little bench that you can sit on and just enjoy the waterfall. Or you can hike up to the top of it like we did and sit on one of the rocks and enjoy the weather or get a little wet. Man. Our view right now on this little cliff edge in the mountains. So we just got back from a swinging bridge and down this path is Kootenai Joe. I mean Kootenai Falls. My bad, my bad. I don't know how much of a hike it is, but the swinging bridge wasn't that far, probably like a quarter mile and then go across the, go across the bridge, get to the other side. I'd take a kayak down that. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> wow.
the hike begins. Wow, I like how it's really shady in here. That's nice. And then there's like natural little springs in here. So this was my top choice for every place that we got to see while we're in Montana, including the park. You get to see a bunch of giant cedar trees. Some of them are hollowed out. And you can actually go up inside of them and kind of just hang out and see the entire the entire hollowed out tree. Uh, there's a bunch of just shallow uh, natural springs as you can see and then right behind this bridge here is a natural rock slide and along the entire kind of forest there's signs and stuff that will inform you about uh, how the place was formed and stuff like that I don't know if you guys can tell what this tree is it's hollowed out in here here. Take, take, take the GoPro and hand it to me when I get in there. Okay, Schnooks. He's going, going in. in. Going in. He's going in. Oh my god. Get skinny. Oh, Think skinny. Same. Boy. Hand me that bad boy. I just crawled in right here. Hi. And it's all out. This is wild. I'm in a tree right now. That's the outside. And I'm in the tree. <laughs> Isaac, can you see my GoPro? Um, yes. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe if I smile, you guys will be able to see me. All right, time to go out. Oh boy! Ugh. Oh, that was a mission. Where'd you go? This place is crazy. Just big old cedar trees like this all day. They're just everywhere. The big one there, the big one there. That's a decent sized tree. Mm, that's a big boy. Yeah, wow. These are the roots of the tree that we had to walk through. These are fallen trees. These are fallen trees and they are huge. This is pretty badass, not gonna lie. Whoa, that's water. What do you think? <laughs> it is kind of squishy. <laughs> I don't know how to give like an approximate representation of how big these trees are. I have an idea. Are you going to lay down? I'm going to take a picture real quick of me laying down on these trees.